David Knight Show. Infowars.com forward slash show. And so this is not ending. It's going to be going into 2021. Uh, we'll be doing this, uh, you know, 133 days, America held hostage. This is going to be hundreds of days if we don't stand up and do something about it. All we have to do is say we're not going to comply anymore with this. We have to do what John MacArthur did. We have to wake up and say, all right, we tried to cooperate with you. Uh, we all wanted to be cautious. There was some very concerning stuff coming out of China. I said at the beginning, and I had a lot of people who were tweeting to me, emailing me, texting me, saying, yeah, you're wrong about this. this. This is the worst thing we've ever seen. I said, well, we don't know for sure. We've had a lot of troubling information, and I've been concerned about this, talking about it more than anybody I know, going back years, talking about gain-of-function research by the CDC and the NIH and, uh, and so forth. But um, I said, regardless of how bad it is, if we shut down everything, it's only going to make it worse. And that's not the right approach. So I, I told uh, one individual, I said, well, let's hope that the bioengineering by China and by the federal government is not as effective or as thorough as their social engineering. Because the social engineering and what China did to model for everybody else and said, oh, we got a virus here. Okay, we're going to shut down everything. And you should do this as well. And then the globalists and the global corporate media told everybody, that's exactly, we all got to act like China. We've got to become China. We need to have social tracking and credit scores. And, you know, that was a bad thing in China. But now they, they're in a better position than we are because they can track where everybody goes. So we can have contact tracing. We can take that system of surveillance and we can use it for uh, contact tracing. No, the reality is, is that they're using the excuse of contact tracing to impose the Chinese system. And they have imposed the Chinese reaction on us, and they have now, through that Chinese reaction, they're imposing the Chinese system. That is the real false flag, folks. I tell you, it's just absolutely amazing. I tweeted out today, I said, uh, there was a meme that I saw about... Um, Remember that moment when you saw the second plane hit? We're at that moment right now. And I said, yeah. And you remember <laughs> when the third building went down that wasn't even hit by a plane? Uh, we're at that moment right now with the BBC reporter saying 20 minutes beforehand that Building 7 was, had already collapsed and it was still standing over her shoulder. We're at the point where you need to understand that this is a plan. It is a pandemic. This is a false flag. And it's bigger than 9-11. And the majority of people, even though, even though it is clearly a lie, even though it is clearly planned, the majority of people are going to go along with it like they've gone along with the 9-11 narrative. But we have to stand up and do something about this, even though the White House is going to go along with that, uh, knowing that it is fake. President Trump knows it was fake. He said it the day, that day. Well, I don't know. I watched a lot of buildings go down. It looks like a controlled demolition. And that's a pretty strong, that's the strongest building I've ever seen. And it took a hit in the foundation, you know, 10 years ago, and it didn't go down. Why is it going down now? We need to look at that. Nah, now deafening silence about that. Let me tell you something. Two planes didn't take down three buildings. And this virus is not taking down our global society. It's the people that are running, the globalists who are running this. And it's our own government that's doing this. It's not a virus, it's not airplanes, and it's not terrorists in Afghanistan. And they're going to pick a fight with China or Iran, just like they picked a fight with Afghanistan, claiming that it was men in caves who took down 9-11. Uh, they're going to use that. I mean, I'm not saying that, they're, that you know, the Taliban were good guys. What have we done in 20 years? Well, we've upped the production of, uh, of heroin and opioids in 20 years. We've made sure that Afghanistan is the number one producer of that. And we have managed to sacrifice the lives of a lot of American soldiers in an unwinnable war that we're now obviously losing. And uh, they will use the Chinese thing. The Chinese are evil, no doubt about it. And we're going to talk about some strange things that are being done by China coming up here in a moment. Uh, but they're going to use that. Because a 
Bigger war is always a great distraction, and it is something that gets everybody to rally around the politicians, doesn't it, right? So uh, we can have a war with China, or we can have a war on our own streets. We just hope we don't get fooled again. Anyway, as uh, you have uh, the Supreme Court decision, uh, the White House has weighed in on that. Uh, but, of course, they won't do anything to stop the lockdown. They'll opine, they'll tweet, they'll put out press releases, but they will continue the lockdown and continue to model the mask for us. That's exactly President Trump has now become a model uh, for the lockdown. You like my mask? Does it look good? How's that camera angle? Is that looking good? And a strongly worded dissent accompanied by Clarence Thomas and Brett Kavanaugh Sam Alito wrote, it is no surprise that Nevada would discriminate in favor of the powerful gaming industry and its employees, but we have a duty to defend the Constitution. Even a public health emergency does not absolve us of that responsibility. Let me explain to you, though, uh, that the Constitution is not going to be successfully defended by Supreme Court justices. Uh, It's going to have to be successfully defended by you and your communities. We'll be right back. Stay with us. One of the most incredible cups of coffee can be found in the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers have spent years perfecting their techniques. Based off hundreds of years of traditional techniques and perfect conditions, we've sourced only the best to provide you with our immune support and Wake Up America Patriot Blend Coffee. Ancient Mayan knowledge is paired with the natural fertility of the land to generate the world's finest coffee bean. Carefully harvested, and free of toxic chemicals used in big agricultural productions, Patriot Blend coffees have a smooth, bold flavor with great depth to give you just what you need in the morning. You can even choose to start your morning healthier with the Immune Support Blend, infused with a powerful blend to support your immune response and stamina. It's time to take care of your morning routine. Get a bag of Patriot Blend coffee to support the show while enhancing your morning routine at InfoWarsStore.com. 